Hello everyone, I am Siddhartan. In today's video, let's solve the 7th lead code problem. Go to lead code site, navigate to the problems tab and you can sort the questions based on the difficulty and we are starting with easier problems. We have already solved 6 questions and the next question is remove duplicates from sorted array. So first let's try to understand the problem statement then we can try to solve this in python okay so the main objective is given an array or a list you need to remove the duplicates from it and also there are like few other requirements let's understand them given an integer array nums sorted in non-decreasing order that means ascending order so it's in an increasing order remove the duplicates in place such that each unique elements appears only once so this is the main objective where you are going to take an array remove the unique uh, sorry remove the repeated elements or the duplicate elements but you have to do that in place this is like a very critical criteria for this particular problem so what is meant by this in place is so if you are given an array called as nums you shouldn't create any other arrays the change that you are doing here which is removing the duplicates should happen in that original numbers array so that's what this in place means so you shouldn't create uh, another data structure and you know uh, save those you know unique values there so the main objective here is to make sure that you are kind of doing this problem in a memory efficient way so that's like one way of doing this in place and again this is like a better way to do this process of doing the change in, in place and the other requirement is the relative order of the elements should be kept the same so think about it so let's say that you have seven uh, values in a list and two values are repeated you need to remove these two values or you need to change the order of these two values but the order of the other values the other unique elements shouldn't change so that's what they mean by relative order so you will understand this once we start solving the problem so these are the two main requirements one is you need to uh, remove the duplicate values mainly in place without creating any additional data structure and the other one is the relative order of the other element should be kept the same right and then you need to return the number of unique elements so if you have like seven uh, elements in an array and there are only four unique values you need to return the value four okay so they are not expecting the numbers uh, array as the output but they are expecting the number of unique elements okay so consider the number of unique elements of nums to be k so let's call this unique elements count as k and in order to get accepted so in order to get your solution accepted you need to do this following things so these are the requirements one is you need to return k and the other one is change the array nums such that the first k elements of nums contain the unique elements in the order they were present in nums initially the remaining elements of nums are not important as well as the size of nums let's try to understand what they are telling here so I'll open my markdown file so that I can explain you easier. So let's say that we have this numbers uh, array. Okay. So here, if you see this, we have uh, seven elements where one and three are repeated. So the number of unique elements is five. So you need to return. Uh, you need to write a function that returns k, but also change this numbers array such that this numbers is equal to the first five elements should be one, two, three, four, and five okay and the next elements can be anything it can be those repeated values of one and three uh i can just say that it, it can be like again one and three it, it doesn't matter what they want is if you give value as five the first five elements should have those unique values and whatever is present after that doesn't matter so that's what they have mentioned here so it should contain the unique elements in the order they were present in nums initially the remaining elements of nums are not important as well as the size of them so if, if even remove this one and three that's okay as well but again it doesn't matter all they want to kind of look here is like uh, if you give five then the first five elements should have the unique values also if you see this the relative position of one two three four and five doesn't change only the repeated values have been moved so that's the requirement and then here they have this custom judge that would check this so like again it, it's basically to make sure that you have done this change in place and uh, the relative orders are maintained and so on so basically this is what they expect if your input is 1 comma 1 comma 2 then your output should be 2 because it has two unique elements of 1 comma 2 and the third element can be anything it can be 1 comma 2 comma 2 1 comma 2 comma 1 anything so they are not interested in that they are just interested in the first two values because you have written 2 so the explanation is your function should return k is equal to 2 with the first two elements of nums being 1 and 2 respectively it does not matter what you leave beyond the returned k hence they are underscore so they have given this underscore because this value can be anything so i hope that you have understood this problem uh, now let's try to solve this in python 
and in order to give a clear explanation i'll be uh, explaining this to you in python in in between pycharm where i i can like run this in in debugger mode and i'll explain you so let's create a function with the same name define remove duplicates and uh, the input data to this will be nums and here i'm going to say lift is equal to zero so here we are going to solve this by an approach called as a double pointer approach where we'll be creating two pointers called as left and right so we will initiate this left is equal to zero and the purpose of this is this left uh, pointer would take like the unique values it moves around and so on and the right pointer would you know once you have this unique value in stored in left your right pointer would scan through the list and make sure that it's not repeated so that's the purpose so here i'll say for right in range one comma length of nums so your left would start with zero and your right pointer should start with the value one okay so this is the double pointer approach right so i mean you can just try printing this right as well if you want and you can also increment this left as well and then maybe you can this is i just want to show you how this left and right value changes so that's why and here i can print this yeah, here i can maybe print a marker okay so let, let's basically run this and see how our pointers changes okay here i need to call this function so let's say nums is equal to the same array which has this seven elements and we have to return k but that's okay for now let's just call this as uh, a is equal to for now we are not going to return anything maybe i'll just return zero for now k is equal to nums sorry remove duplicates right so i just want to run this and check how this left and right are changing so let's run this so here you can see so first at first your left pointer would start with zero and your right pointer would start with uh you know one and then we iterate over this changes right so on and, and try to go through the list and, and see if some values are repeating so that's the case but what i want to show you is like how we are initiating the left and the right pointer okay so let's come back to the code remove all these things and now here i'm going to say if lift of nums this means like lift of left is zero so sorry this should be nums of left i'm just like trying to get a value from the index so your left is zero so when you put nums of zero that means you're taking the first element one so if this first element of one nums left is not equal to uh, this is not equal to nums of right then i'm going to say left plus one is equal to one so i'm basically incrementing left and say nums of left is equal to nums of right and then you can just return left plus one so this is like the entire code so this is like a, a simple problem to solve but let's try to understand like what's exactly is happening here so we are starting with like two pointers one is left pointer and the other one is right pointer and your left pointer would first initially take the value zero and right point would take the value as one because we have mentioned one here so it would take the value from one all the way up to length of numbers right and we check if nums of left that means uh zeroth element in element in nums array is not equal to uh this is one right so first second element of this you know nums so just think about it so your left value is zero and right value is one that means we want to compare the zeroth element and the first element so when i say zeroth and first i'm mentioning the index not the actual number so just think about it in that way so i'm comparing if one is not equal to this 
this work right so that's the condition so here this condition won't be satisfied so this part of the code won't be executed at all now we go to the next step so now your uh, left would still remain as zero but your right would have changed from one to two right because it's in this for loop now we check nums of left is not equal to nums of right so in this case your nums of left is nums of zero because left didn't change and your right changed so this would be nums of right which is nums of two so nums of two is nothing but this number uh, the third index so in this case it's not equal to basically it compares this one with this two so th these are not the same so we increment this left so when you increment this left you will this left of zero would become left of one and now we change this left of one so when you run this particular code which is nums of left that means uh nums of one is equal to nums of right so ideally or or in i level what this would do is if the value is not matching this would shift the value to from this place to this place so again we keep doing this until a point where we go through the entire list and see that you know there are uh, all the unique elements are like perfectly sorted so it might be a bit tricky to understand but again let's run this in debugger mode and that would like make more sense but yeah this is the entire code and now i'm going to click in the serial number we have this red dot so i'm going to put a breakpoint here and run this on debugger just to see like what's the variable values are so here we are we are seeing the nums value so we have like uh, seven elements so the length is seven and we have one comma one comma two all the way up to those things right and then we have this for right in range all those things maybe i can do one more thing before running this on debugger uh, i can print this k as well as print nums so here we are doing this change in place right so our nums array should be changed so i'll run this we will print this k and numbers and our expected output is this one right so this two numbers can be anything but you should get a k value of 5 and nums array should should have the first value as 1 2 3 4 and 5 but let's just run this and see if this is working properly right so you have this 5 as k value and your array is 1 2 3 4 5 and the last two elements are 4 and 5 which is like doesn't matter for us so it's working but now let's understand how we arrive at this output so i have a breakpoint in line number 4 and let's run this on debugger right so here yeah. We are passing a list called as nums with the values 1, 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, and 5. And left has a value 0. And for right in range 1, comma length of numbers, as I said, right is going to take the value 1. So here I'm going to step into the code. Basically, this would run the code line by line. And here you can see the right variables value. So here right variables value is 1. Now, we are comparing nums of left and nums of right. So nums of left is nothing but nums of 0 which is this one and nums of right is again nums of one and nums of one is this element so we are comparing if these two elements are not equal to in this case it's actually equal to right because the first two elements are same so i'm going to step into the code so this if condition won't be satisfied because we have like a not equal to condition so if you closely look this these two lines won't be executed because again the condition not satisfied we would again go back to this for loop and your right uh, value will be changed so i'll step into the code as you can see it didn't execute these lines as the condition if condition didn't satisfy now we again iterate through this for loop and now your right value will change from one to two because we have this in the range so let's see that so your right value has changed now we are going to compare nums of zero because your left value didn't change this increment didn't happen so we are going to compare, uh, you know, uh, nums of 0 and nums of 2. Nums of 0 is 1 and nums of 2, which is basically the third element, right? 0, 1 and 2, your third element. So nums of 2 is this number. And of course, we know that these are not equal to, so your if condition would run, right? So I can, when I run this, this would, yeah, go to the next line where we are incrementing this left. When I increment this left, your left would change from 0 to 1, right? And now, I'm going to change this value to 2. That's what this line does. So, nums of left is equal to nums of right. So, I'm changing the second value with this third value. So, look closely to this list. You can look at this particular list or the list as you can see here. So, this will change as... 1 comma 1 comma 2 will change to 1 comma 2 comma 2 so that's what is happening here right so what we are basically doing is once we find this unique values we are sorting that out and by this process right the repeated one is also removed 
again we do the same thing now your left value as a value of 1 because we have incremented it and right value will now change from 2 to 3 again we compare if these 3 are like not equal to so in this case uh, we are comparing 1 and 3 right so 1 value will be this and 3 value will be this 3 so yeah it shouldn't run this thing yeah so it, it's not equal to so we are uh, kind of incrementing this lift and this process goes on so what this does is if it finds this similar values it's going to move it out so that you are getting this unique values in the first five elements so i can keep running this and just see how the value changes so we have this one two three three four comma five and now this four and five would change just like the other things kind of change so i'll step into the code right so after all this point so we have this five at last now we have to change this five alone so that's what would happen in the next steps so now we have this one two three four and five and our right is also now exhausted so the for loop is going to end and finally we have this return statement of left plus one now left is four right because we have started with zero this is nothing but mentioning like your fifth element so left of four is nothing but zero one two three and four which represents five elements in order to return the number you need to add it so this is like simple thing right because the index starts with zero we always have to add it to one to convert that index to the count so we are returning left plus one so your output will basically be k okay so that's what you are getting so the main wider approach is we are taking two pointers called as left and right and iterating over this unique values of this list and, and using this right pointer to scan the other elements those uh, values are not equal to that means they are unique values and then we are changing the positions relative to that so that we get a final list where we change these values in place and then uh, we return like that k value and the changed nums so that's it for this particular code we can just copy this particular content alone and put it in lead code and check if this code is working here so here we have the test cases and it should satisfy this condition so i'll run this okay so we have this case one accepted case two it's also ex accepted so and then you can submit this to check if it's like uh, passing like the other test cases that they have prepared right so here we have a good run time so memory could improve but yeah so this is working so this is how we can solve this problem so i hope you understood this i'll maybe give you a quick walk through here so we are taking two pointers of left and right iterating over through the list that they have provided and you are left to take the value zero and right to take the value of one so we basically compare uh, the elements if they are same right then we don't execute this lines we just move to the next index of right so left would remain the same and once we see that we have like unique elements then we increment this left and move the position of the next unique element uh, and then yeah basically that's how let's say we have this one comma one comma two right so we would change this to one comma two comma let's say two so this is how this would work so i hope you are clear uh, about this so this may be a, a bit tricky to understand but just write this code for yourselves and maybe put this through debugger you will clearly understand this so that's it from my side and i'll see you in the next upload thanks for watching